This is the Carolina Real Estate Podcast. Today, a special episode of the Carolina Real Estate Podcast, Coastal Home Tour. Coastal Home Tour takes you on a tour of coastal neighborhoods. Your tour guides are knowledgeable and experienced Coastal Carolina realtors who know this neighborhood. Listen as they talk about properties, lifestyle and amenities in this neighborhood. I'm so happy we're here with the special edition. I appreciate you joining us on Coastal Home Tour. This is a special edition of Carolina Real Estate Podcast. And I've been really anxious and excited to take people on a tour of this home that you and your hubby, Mark, have listed 2301 Palm Boulevard. 2301 Palm Boulevard on all the palms. Whenever you list a house, there's always something special that an agent likes about that house. Can you tell the viewers and the audience what you like mostly about 2301 Palm Boulevard? My personal favorite about this house, Bill, is a lot of the homes up and down Palm Boulevard on Ella Palms have the raised pools in the front yards, which are beautiful and, and, and everything. This particular home is a corner lot and it has a backyard pool area with an underneath space that you could put a kitchen, a game room, you know, a sitting area with TVs, um, a grilling area. Um, and so to have that backyard feel and yet be right across the street from the beach and the beach path on a corner lot that still has the privacy really is something special on all palms. It's like they can get by going to the backyard in the pool area they can kind of get totally away from different it all. atmosphere than on the front part of the of the pool the other thing i asked my clients too like what what is your favorite and they love the location uh, they, they live out of state they love coming down here but they love the fact that they're at 23rd avenue and they literally are a walk to the grocery store a walk to the wind jammer there's everything's very easy they can walk to church the playground there's just a lot of really great um, ideal situations being in this location. It's kind island. of in the middle of the island, really. You know, respectfully, I always sort of divide the island in thirds. You've got everything to the right of the connector. You've got things that sit in the middle. And then on the peninsula of the island, you've got wild dunes. So this is closer to the connector on yes. on that middle section of the but island. Which means, which means the owner, uh, they don't have to drive to the other end of the island. They don't have to get in their car at all if they don't want to, even yeah. to go to the grocery store. The owners of the home can go across the street and go right down the path. They walk the right 10 steps to the beach. And uh, yet they're not on the beach side, but they're on the, the other side of the street, which gives them a lot of flexibility of getting on and off the island. Let's walk through the house together. Sure. The, uh, the kitchen area, when I see the photographs of it, it really is made to entertain. It's made for families, right? It's made for families, for large groups of friends. Um, family reunions. It's wonderful. And the gr other second great part of the interior layout of this home is it has a lot of little flex spaces. The master bedroom on, on the main floor when you walk in has its own sitting area, large spa-like bathroom. Then you go up a level where the kitchens are. Front porch goes all the way across the front on two levels. Um, and then you have a big open space to cook and entertain two separate dining areas and and then almost every bedroom has an ensuite bathroom did i read it right is there six bedrooms six bedrooms five and a half baths absolutely really comfortable floor plan whether it's for full-time living or, or investment purposes lisa when we talk about the the bedrooms and we talk about the location all those things can we talk about the um, amount of uh income you can get from renting it what does that look like Right now we have the projections about $300,000 a year on this home. We went to multiple different agencies that do property management and got their projections. This has been on and off the rental market through the previous owners and including my owners. Um, and so that's, that's a pretty solid number right now is what everyone's sort of telling to us. A, it's because of their location. B, it's got a pool with some privacy. And then you add the square footage and the quality of the home inside is just stunning. It really is well built and has just a very nice, light, airy feeling to it. If you read this newspaper, you'll know everything that's going on on IOP. Do you want to know what's going on on the island? Know what the restaurant specials are? Know what our politicians are doing? And have a general good idea of all the fun we have out here? Pick up the Island Vibe. You'll get the vibe. Island Vibes is a deal. 
You're watching the Carolina Real Estate Podcast, Coastal Home Tour Edition. You yes. were excited to explain to me about the doors downstairs. Yeah. You can kind of isolate the uh, conversation a little bit. Yeah. If I sort of zoom in there a little bit, you'll see. Oh, yeah. Oh, this yeah. home is well done all the way around the garage space. They have put barn door um, security doors in. So when you're sitting out at the pool and you've got family here, you can open up those barn doors all the way across. And on one side, you've got a cornhole turf area. And then you also have an underneath space that shows just where you can go in and you can add a kitchen. You can add another pool air, pool table. There's lots of options, but you're still in the shade. You still have airflow um, from the beach uh, breeze that comes in. So, yeah, there's lots of great opportunities in this home. The upper deck, they've got tables and chairs out there. That must be a great, the views must be fantastic from up there. Oh, right? the views are absolutely beautiful. You will never lose the ocean view on that third deck here, mainly because on one side of it, the homes are already built up and raised, but they're palm trees. You don't have the live oaks that are going to be continuously growing. So you will always have an ocean view off the top deck of this house. And then off the kitchen area in the great room area on the, the second level deck that goes all the way across the front of the house, it also has peaks of the ocean. And again, that continuous ocean breeze never stops. Yes, and 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 as people that are watching this on YouTube, they'll see the scene of the uh, yeah. of the ocean. They yeah, yeah, the it's great. They really are stunning. So, does every one of the bedrooms have uh, their private deck out? There's two um, backyard porches uh, overlooking the pool, and the master first floor area. It's a reverse floor plan. So, when you walk into the large foyer, there's four bedrooms on the main floor. Um, and the main master bedroom is on the back side, and that overlooks the pool. It has its own deck. Then you go up to the, the living area that I call it, which is the second floor, and that area um, has a deck off a sitting area, uh, but the bedroom's on each side, which, which also has a smaller size master bedroom on the living area floor. So there are two master bedrooms in this house? There's two master bedrooms in this house. And one's on the sixth floor and one's on the bottom floor? Yeah, so it's it's a raised house, so you walk up a flight, you walk in. Right. That's mainly your bedroom space, and there's a very large master bedroom on the back side of the house overlooking the pool. Then you go up another staircase uh, floor, and that's the second level, and that's where you start getting your peaks of the ocean, and that's why they do reverse floor plans here, is so you can get those ocean views. What are some of the high points that you would mention? Yeah, the pool would be one because I, I know you love that pool. The, the pool with the fountains, the built in backyard space that's lovely. Then I'm going to tell them it's a great floor plan for any size family. It obviously is a proven uh, investment property, but I'm going to tell them they're walking to the beach 10 steps away. Uh, they're going to have entertainment space that they'll love the most. And then the location is the best thing. I'll tell you one thing that people really want, Bill, when they're, they're looking at homes here is they want a, a home that's move-in ready. That's sort of a, a, a big item with all my listings and every house I've sold. If they walk in and they don't have to do a thing to the house, they're they're so happy with it. For those that don't know Isle of Palms, we're so close to Charleston. The Isle of Palms is really suited well for people that want both city comforts and exactly. a, a bit of a country. We are also getting a lot of um, pre-retired families moving here, couples wanting to get, you know, they're almost in that retirement phase. So they want to get here, sort of start picking out their home, use the income for a few years to offset some of the expenses, but they still want to come and visit yet. They still need to sort of travel out of the area. So to get to the airport is 20, 25 minutes. And well, the downtown is so easy as well. Lisa, you know, another thing, taxes are low. There's no other island on the, on the Carolina coast that I'm aware of. Exactly. who has as low a taxes. The city is very well run, and the, and the people that are there care about it. And when the accommodation tax money comes in, you all put that to good use with the police they department, sure do. the fire department. When you sell any property on Isle of Pops, right. I think that's the selling point. Do you agree? I do think it's very important. And I would tell you this, when I have open houses and people come in and they're not from the area, they understand our tax situation, that there's a 4% to 6% ratio tax, and they're still in awe because most of our 6% ratio tax is what they're already paying for their own property taxes in other states. So they're not too sticker shocked about that. Um, and they know in the future they're most likely going to 
to move here. So they know that whatever they invest in, that number is going to come down once they become a full-time resident. If that's not their first move. But Mark and I attended the um, Ala Palms uh, city follow-up survey that they put out there. Um, last week, they had a meeting, several meetings that you could attend to learn what the survey said. And overall, the residents here are very happy with what the city's doing, what the mayor's doing, how the police department's handling traffic and handling, um, you know, complaints on noise. I think overall, everyone's pretty, pretty happy. 85% of the residents are saying everyone's doing a good job. And I had the honor of interviewing the, the chief of police has been there about yeah. five and a half years. It's Isle of Palms podcast.com. He's a really great guy. Great and, guy. Uh, how many times is, is a resident interviewed in any city and they're happy? They like the way it looks, the way it feels. They enjoy living here. Um, we, As you know, Bill, we're getting better and better uh, at entertaining uh, residents. Our guests that are coming here, our restaurants are phenomenal. That's you know, true. both on Olive Palms and Sullivan's Island. So you don't have to leave the island to go get a great meal. We've That's got true. really top line restaurants that are in the culinary business that are making the mark acme has always had good food there and it's exactly it's a beach it's a beach restaurant but man their food is it's great food's you know? phenomenal. and yep. pappy's on the front beach there exactly. he's, he does really good so there's yeah, a lot of I good tell things. all my clients when they're coming in if they're planning a trip here to look at real estate or they're visiting their home i'm like call ahead and get your reservations at some of these restaurants because they are so popular and they are booked out and people know when they come Cote de Pesci, all these restaurants are really doing a phenomenal job uh, on the culinary side for our, our island. Could somebody have bought this house, would they be able to play in the golf course that they wanted to in Wild Dunes? Wild Dunes is, a, is a, a private golf course, a community golf course and a public golf course. So anyone can go out and make a tea time and go out and play golf out there. There's two golf courses, the Harbor course and the Lynx course. Wild Dunes Resort is getting ready to rehab both of them starting in 2025. Um, so yeah, they're they're making gains on being very competitive in the area. Um, again, I would recommend anyone coming to the island, make sure you book your tea time in advance because people like coming here and the resort is busy. Um, another great event that I personally love in the summer and I tell my clients about it as well is the Windjammer concerts you know they start at six o'clock in the evening they're done by nine o'clock they have phenomenal bands um, and it's it's another great little entertainment on the beach that just is a great feel to be a beach town and have that opportunity to have great music and entertainment and before you go to the Windjammer you could always drop by the dinghy and you can get by the dinghy grab a cold beer there as well which is, as you know, Bill, is sort of the norm. Let's go back to the house just a little bit. What are some of the other attributes that you'd like to share with people, prospects, uh, about this house? Because it is on the market now. It is uh, on the market. I think, you know, when we look at real estate and we go in and we, we try to give our clients the best opportunity when it comes to comps, we're going to look at several things. And the property management groups are doing the same. What is the quality of the home? Is it been well taken care of? which this home has been, it's it's got trim throughout the entire house. If you look at the pictures online, you'll see how well taken care of it it's been. You'll see that the pool area is very comfortable. Um, and I think overall, it's just a really nice, well taken care of, very beachy style home that with large space with lots of entertainment areas. So I think when people come in, they walk in the front door and they go, wow. And they're very wowed by the decks, you know, if they the front porches. If you want to go out and sit and watch the people come and go all day, you can. If you want to come in the backyard and sit on one of the decks and have your morning coffee or, you know, a glass of wine overlooking the pool while the kids are swimming, you're right there too. And you've got the privacy of it. So location is important and obviously the quality of the home. And this home is a top line home that has all the bells and whistles. Well, I've not been inside the home, but you're right. Those photographs really tell a story. If the one to 10, 10 being the best condition, I would, I would actually, based on the photographs, I'd give it a 10 plus. This is a I 10 mean, it, plus house. It, I mean, it really looks really good. Lisa, yeah. I, I want to thank you for being part of you, the Bill. Carolina Real Estate Podcast and our special uh, coastal home tour because you took thank us you. on a tour of this. And, and, I, and I know this isn't your bailiwick. We talked about that a little bit. <laughs> so thanks for showing up. And thanks Thank for uh, letting our audience know about your listening. Okay. Well, make me a promise, Bill, that you'll come over and have a cocktail on that third deck and enjoy the ocean view with me. All right. You. That's a promise. Okay. I'm ready to do it. When okay. the next Island Vibes comes out, I'll sit up there with you and Mark. We're going to celebrate. Okay.
All right, well, thanks thank you for so being much. here. Okay. All right, bye bye. Absolutely, bye bye. You've been listening to or watching the Carolina Real Estate Podcast with Bill Mascio. Want to know more? 